Hey guys, here's another aquaponics update. It's Monday, May the 19th, and I'm just going to go through here and kind of show you what's going on. Hey, I'm getting a ripe tomato. Yeah. Now this is the tomato that was on the uh, that had started with the cracky experiment. Remember, I talked you guys about it and the the cats had broke it off. But this thing is actually doing pretty well. If you notice, I got a ton of fruit on here, and I've actually been using uh, one of MHP Gardener's little techniques. You know, come up here and of course I don't have the electric toothbrush, but you know, just go up here and shake it a little bit. Take your little finger and dab it. And I noticed that when I started doing that, I'm getting a lot more fruit setting on here. If you look around, I got some pretty good little clusters there. I tell you what, though, I need to get a different <laughs> rig system for this to keep it up. I'm definitely going to do that uh, the next time for sure. Okay, moving on. Got me a little pineapple in here going. Now, I know it's going to take a while for this to get some fruit, but hey. I want to give it a shot. Hopefully the system will keep running that long. There's a little watermelon, a little experiment I put in there today. Uh, a couple of cucumbers. They were in pretty bad shape when I stuck them in here, but they're coming back around. There's a little eggplant, a little small tomato. Uh, that tomato right there is actually cutting off the big plant I was just showing you. Um, and another cucumber and then a bell pepper. And that little can of some squash I got. I didn't have a chance to put it in yet. Uh, moving on over here to the second bed, we got another cucumber, a squash plant here, nice bell pepper, it's doing pretty good. Uh, this one here I just kind of rescued from uh, something that wasn't doing so well, so we'll see how it works out. That is a hydrangea branch, it got broken off. I figured, hey, what the heck, I'm going to stick it in here so I can root it and put it back in the ground. My wife loves those, so see what I can do. Got a couple more tomato bushes in here. Actually, this is just one right here, these are a couple small other ones. But I really need to, uh, I need to get these other two beds going. I'm running out of room. <laughs> but anyways, let me go ahead and show you the other side. Hold on. So we can see here that that tomato is just running down the side. So, you know, I'm just going to let it run down. Kind of like one of those topsy-turvy things. I didn't really prune. I did a little bit of pruning, but it just kept growing so much. Like, ah, I'm just going to let it run wild. And here's an onion. Now... That thing's doing pretty good. I want to pull it out here in a little bit, though, to see what it's looking like. I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out now. See what, what we got down in there. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, there we go. Now, here's some of the Dutch buckets. Uh, the cucumbers there. You notice they got a little bit of a uh, deficiency working here. But nevertheless, this one here seems to be putting on a quite a bit of fruit. Uh, this one, I don't really see any in here too much. A lot of flowers. Um, you know, I, I planted a bunch of different cucumbers too. I won, and then, <laughs> in all the excitement, I forgot to label them when I switched them to the buckets. But we'll see what comes out. You know, here we got a couple of strawberries going on. Now, if you notice in the last video, these were white buckets. No, no. I made a video about buckets there. You might want to check it out. Um, white buckets, no good. Of course, I knew it wasn't. It's pretty much elementary but I figured I'd just try to bend the odds well it didn't work uh, algae got covered plants were doing terrible but anyways got that going here I got me another bucket with a another watermelon I just put in there today so we'll see how that's going same here with these strawberry plants I actually got a blue lids instead of the white uh, I found those the other day the HDPE circle 2 on it so and plus there's really nothing coming in contact with it so it should be in pretty good shape there Got a couple little peppers here, some small tomato plants, and a little bell pepper. That's a red bell pepper, and that's a yellow bell pepper, and that's an orange bell pepper. And I don't know what happened, man. Them things were rocking, and then all of a sudden they just went to nothing. Mm. You know, maybe it could be something to go on with the uh, nutrient deficiency there, but I'll get into it and find out and let you guys know. Here's a couple of straw. Actually, there's three strawberry plants in each one of these buckets. If you look at a couple of older videos, you'll see. And man, they're starting to put out a ton of strawberries. I picked a bunch off here. I actually made a video about that and messed it up. So, anyways, I picked a bunch of strawberries off here. They're pretty good. Uh, you know, it's got some growing to do. But, anyways, that's an aquaponics update. Let me take you in to show you the fish. You guys haven't seen them for a while, so hold on. Let me just take you in there and show you that. But that's the update on the outside plants. Everything's looking pretty good. Here we go, here's the fish. I tell you what, these goldfish, 
they see me coming. It's like chickens almost. They run up to the to the thing to get fed. Now I put some more fish. In. I got some catfish in here too, and a couple actually pretty big ones. You really can't see it right now. I will be getting a better camera. Though. I want to be getting a camera that can go in the water. So I want to be getting some underwater shots of these fish. But you see the golds, man. They got some beautiful color, and those things are huge. I don't know if the video is going to do it justice. Some of them bad boys are getting at a pretty good size. Anyways, guys, hey, I appreciate you watching. Uh, watching. <laughs> If you have any suggestions or comments, hey, don't hesitate to leave them. Please subscribe. Always loving new subscribers. All right, you guys have a great day, and thanks a lot. Bye.